that's all. Mike's Hi, my name. Daily Podcast. My name is Mike Matthews. Oh my gosh, it's Mike's Daily Podcast. It's been a long time since I've broadcasted from this part of Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley Town, and I am okay today. But it's been a rough week, and let me tell you, it had to do with cats. Cats, not the music who, but the animal, because I've got a cat. Mike's Daily Podcast. I got a little, uh, what do you call it, kitty named Rocky. I posted pictures of him. Mike's But the other cat Daily that we've been podcast kind of taken care of. Yeah. In as much as you can take care of him because he is feral, Patches whom I posted pictures of Patches the cat has been he got into a fight or something there were scratches on his face and I came home Thursday thinking I was going to do a podcast nope because I was dealing with oh no my lovely lady friend said Patches has scratches on his face and then he ran away he ran off into the hills because he's a wild feral cat still so that was a that kind of derailed my whole wanting to do a podcast. And then yesterday, he came back. He was fine. He's, he does have scratches on his face, but they're just, they look more superficial. The problem is he's very feral. And if we were to grab him and take him to the vet, we'd have to probably have him sedated. But he, he's getting around. He's eating. He's not bleeding. He's doing good But this is the problem With having an outdoor cat Now the Rocky He's gonna stay inside His whole life We'll take him We'll put him on a harness And take him to the Outside that way Or just you know Have it heavily monitored But You gotta be careful The lifespan of a cat That lives outdoors Is significantly short And I can testify to that Because And here's today's Podcast picture It will be a Will it be a picture of a cat? I don't know if the podcast picture will be of a cat. Let's see. But I can testify to that because my my whole life, my younger years, when I was a kid living with my mom, oh my gosh, every cat we had met a horrible demise. Dogs attacked, got hit by a car, all that stuff. Oh, speaking of dogs, the late great Basil the Boxer. Such a happy canine he was This podcast picture I think will go With a podcast picture from today Because it's kind of stormy looking Stormy weather Because my baby's gone away Or should we do a podcast picture from last night with the moon No Or, or a nice sunset picture from Last night There's so many choices Ah oh. Well Find out what it is Go to Mike'sDailyPodcast.com I'll have made a decision By then Remember I was telling you About the horrendous Internet issues That I had Last week Well this week The internet issues Are still Afoot But what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload This podcast Via a Wi-Fi connection Which is actually moving faster Than the actual Ethernet Connected internet Just a little side note Because sometimes Wi-Fi works better And that's how amazing technology has. Do we really Do young people really Appreciate What world we live in today With technology The amazing Things we can do I feel as if As you're a kid If you're young If you're in your 20s Or your 30s Unless you're a genius You don't really know What we're capable of Or the tools That are at our disposal That we didn't used to have That we can do So many amazing things now Take a podcast for example I am here At a cafe With all these wonderful people Drinking Interestingly enough We're all drinking Pumpkin lattes But not from Starbucks We hate Starbucks Because it costs a lot of bucks And it's usually made by Perturbed, angry Twenty-somethings Or teenagers Who do not Do not put any care Or effort into I know Broad brush stroke 
But seriously, I used to love Starbucks and I would be, hey, that's awesome. All the young people running the Starbucks. Actually, you know, I'd say 20 years ago, Starbucks was employing a lot more middle-aged people, a lot more people older. They were like, yeah, bring it all in. And sometime, I'd say in the late O's, the early 10s, it got to be more of, no, you got to be young. You got to be a young 20-something. We're not going to employ uh, any older people. Or maybe it was older people just wised up and said, no, we're not going to do this. I'll just retire. This is too ridiculous. But the quality, when you go in, it's like, a, it's it feels to me now in a Starbucks, like a fast food restaurant. Like a like you're going through a I don't want to pick on anybody Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's I don't know Cafe, I don't know Some place where they just got to throw it together as fast as possible And get it to you And I understand there's a lot of stress And I understand a lot of them haven't had a lot of sleep Because they're also going to college And they're trying to get a degree Or maybe they have kids Or maybe they have kids and they're going to college And there's a lot going on For them in their lives but it's just the quality is just nothing And I'm like I could make this at home Here's what I'm getting to Is why don't we learn this stuff And make it at home Now There are ample recipes online That we can utilize That, that will closely Facsimilate Closely match What you pay five six bucks for Seven bucks for at Starbucks the point is nobody here is drinking Starbucks I made all these drinks for everybody You're welcome Oh they don't like my drinks Well you're not welcome And I wish I never made it You ungrateful Ingrateful ingrates But thanks for coming to Cafe Anyway everybody Here in Podcast Valleyton, The last place on earth And I didn't do a podcast on Wednesday Because my lovely lady friend Usually has that day off and it's getting harder and harder to do a podcast for you on Wednesdays. I'm just going to be honest with you. But thank you. Very sad news today. Aaron Carter. He was a teenage sensation. Perhaps when you were growing up, you loved him. His first album came out at the age of nine. Well, he has died. He was found dead. And probably by the time you listen to this, you'll have more info than I have at this moment. But... Going outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley To the last place on earth uh, He was an, uh, uh, What do you call it uh, One of those uh, Child singing stars And actors in the 90s He was only 34 He is the brother of Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys And I remember him just being The biggest thing on the planet and there are a lot of people A lot of young people today Well I would say younger than me But millennials That are going to say Oh my gosh They're going to have a sudden realization And go Hey All those people that I grew up with That I loved That I You know Was I thought were immortal This can happen I guess they knew that with the Amy Winehouse. Let's see, Amy Winehouse, was she also 34? No, that was the the 32. Amy Winehouse was 27. That was that whole, the 27 club of unfortunate folks that died at the age of 27. A lot of big rock and pop stars. Oh, it's sad, okay. But yeah That realization That you know A lot of people In my generation Like when Prince died And Michael Jackson And Whitney Houston Were like Wait a minute What's going on here These people are supposed To live forever Fame I'm gonna learn How to fly That kind of thing Well I am going to Oh Today Yikes How are we gonna do this Shoot, I can't do the thing where I play my old... We can try. All right, we'll try. We'll try and do the segment called Let's Go Back with Matthews. 
it's going to be a little bit tricky because I'm using two computers today and I realize some of them that I have that I'm on right now I don't have hooked up to the same thing because of the aforementioned internet issues so let's go and take this let's go back with Matthew's segment and do this right now I recently recorded this ah this is fascinating hopefully this will work and then afterwards we will say hi to some folks outside a cafe anyway okay here we go this is from speaking of the late 90s the early O's when these pop bands these boy bands were popular I'm going to try and play for you a, right after the a little bit day. of when I was on the radio back in that time period I was on a country station O's yum another chance to win at 1040 Cyber. we're gonna arrive early tonight uh-huh. I gotta pee I always love it when we arrive a little early. That's a Santa Fe Cafe. A small cafe. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, cafe. Hey. Uh-huh. Welcome to the Santa Fe Cafe. Thank you, Joe. 100.7. K-H-A-Y. Ventura. Dick Dix. Randy Travis. George Strait. I think I was saying Dixie Chicks. Something got cut out there. Pride McBride, Independence Day. When you brush your teeth, does it get all over the place or can you keep it? Mostly in you. Do a clean tooth brusher. Uh, let's get this party started. Yeah. Michael's interacting with a color. Uh, in a fair poster, it has the red, white, and blue. Yeah, with that little boy sitting there. I like that. So, purchase huh? it. They can purchase it at the fair, I'm told. Yeah. Um, so that's a gong for a courtesy of the red, white, and blue, Toby Keith. Yep. All right. Well, I'll play it for you, and you can enjoy it. I'm not sure if it's cutting out over now. now. Maybe you'll find one who has one that can make a, a copy for you. American okay. Girls. Yeah, it is 100.7 KHAY. All right, it seems to be working correctly now. Maybe it's my internet. And Toby Keith, I'm at Michael's at the KH Santa Fe Cafe. And the KH Cafe question tonight, when you brush your teeth, do you get paste everywhere or can you keep it in the mouth? Hello. Oh, dear Matt, say hi to my friend Katie here. Wow. Hello. Matt seems to be a, a little bit, uh, Matt, hello, come back to Earth. Matt, come on. Ow. Oh, <laughs> yes. When you brush your teeth, Katie, can you keep the paste in your mouth? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, uh... How do I know if I'm a redneck? The difference between a redneck is if you mow your front yard and you find two cars, you're a redneck. Aha! Colin Ray in this life. For all I've been blessed, for all that I've been blessed with in this life, there's one thing I needed to. Colin Ray, what a voice. What, uh. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's my story. I'm gonna go home and listen to a bunch of Colin Ray CDs that I have. Yes, I think I have a CD player somewhere. Okay, that was the segment. Let's go back with Matthews and let's say hi to a couple people that we may have just uh, heard just now. No, but we did hear an, an early version of Valentino. He's not with us, but look who is outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley to in the last place on earth. Hi, Mark. It's Benita the Rodeo Queen. How's y'all doing about my house today? And to this Colonel Field player, tell you what. What? I am putting all my time and energy into watching all the places that people go to vote. The polling stations, Mark. I'm going to be on it like white on rise. I watch all the pollsters. I watch everybody taking the votes and the ballots and make sure that there's no shenanigans and funny stuff like there was in 2000. Oh, okay. That's fascinating. Hold that thought. Later that day. Yeah. Uh, something came up. Somebody called me outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcast Valley. So, this gruntle fiddle player, what you're saying is you're keeping an eye on all the people that are taking votes and are you harassing them? 
Well, I mean, if I'm trying to make sure that freedom and elections are being done fairly and representing what the true American pride represents, then I am harassing them. Okay, wow. Well, you know, I would say for the most part, people that are at your local place to put your ballot your your polls they uh your pollsters your electioneers your election takers the places where you vote a lot of that is voluntary and so you know that what they lie the last thing they need is somebody that's breathing down their neck and being adversarial are you saying that i when it comes to defending freedom i i shouldn't be adversarial mark matthews that's impossible Uh uh-huh well, who knows? What uh, what I'm saying is that you just should be nice. That's what I'm saying. Be nice. Elon Musk apparently is not being nice to his Twitter staffers. He's laying people off. But here's the thing. Everybody's like, oh, those poor people working at Twitter. Oh, they got let go. Oh, I feel so bad for them. In the world of difficult jobs, being a Twitter employee is probably right there at the top of the list of not being a terrible Twitter job. I mean, they, I don't know if exactly if it's like Google where they get the nice cushy cafeteria everywhere. They walk in the building, they get free this, free that, they get a free masseuse. Free childcare, all of that. But I think their life is pretty cushy. It's not like they're going in deep into the bowels of the earth to extract coal. It's not like they are a fire person risking life and limb trying to put out a fire somewhere in California and the horrible forest fire issues that we tend to have like right now we do not have actually because it's raining at the moment here at Cafe anyway. It's actually a darkish November sky Under a dark November sky Nothing changes on New Year's Day Ah. Maybe that's not how the song goes The point is That Musk planned to slash the company's 7,500 person payroll After he he finalized his 44 billion acquisition late last week he let go CEO Pereg Aragawal, Agrawal, sorry, as well as Twitter's chief financial officer and its head of legal, public policy, and trust and safety. Upon taking over the company, uh, it's total chaos, house melting down, everyone looking towards. The, the thing is, all these employees that are being let go are going to find such night. The next job they get is going to be. It, it, if it doesn't pay as much They're going to still make a ton of money And there's no reason why we should feel sorry for them And Elon Musk took it over And who knows What he's going to do But Come on <laughs> This story Oh and Jimmy Kimmel He says he lost at least half his fan base Over his anti-Trump jokes um, He says 10 years ago Among Republicans, I was the most popular talk show host, interestingly. Um, He said to, he was first, when Trump was first running for office, he said, uh, ABC executives hinted that Jimmy Kimmel should back off his jokes about Trump. He said, I just said, if that's what you want to do, I understand. I don't begrudge you for, but I'm not going to do that. He said he agreed that being more neutral in his comedy would help the ratings. And he told executives, if you want somebody else to host the show, that's fine. That's okay with me. I'm just not going to do that. Ah. I couldn't live with myself otherwise. He. And he said executives backed off because they knew he was serious. Okay. There you go. All that fascinating news that just puts you to sleep. Outside a cafe anyway. Look who else is here. 
Oh, am I gonna make the least of your hurts right now? Thank you. Oh, along with that weird coffee drink that I made for everybody earlier. All the ingrates that are here at cafe anyway. Yeah, I know. Drink it right now. I cut you. All right, I did. I just did. Look, I work in radio. Radio is not friendly. The, what Elon Musk did on Friday was like the, the nicest thing, the nicest way I've ever seen anybody let anybody go. I worked at stations, they just let everybody go. I've, I've showed up at to go to work. <laughs> this is at six o'clock on a Sunday morning. I showed up to go to work at this one station. This is back in the 90s. The guy answers the door and he goes, yeah, you know what? We've all been fired. That, that's how I found out That's just how it is And I, I hate to say it But these people that work at Twitter They're mostly young They're mostly sh- overly sheltered They are similar To a type of substance That falls from the sky When it gets really cold They're like that They melt really quickly And they just need to deal with it Man, this is life it, People get let go all the time Gosh, why that is even a story But I heard that like 50 times Yesterday And I knew I had to do a podcast I was going to tell you something fun Oh, Winky Winky sent me something funny Winky, who was a friend of my mom's My late mom And she now She used to send emails to my mom And now she sends them to me Thank you, Winky And there's a picture of a guy Holding a dog on his lap In a car And it says He doesn't like to sit in the back So sometimes I let him sit up front With the dog Aww I'm not sure That's not really Typical Winky But thank you Winky Alright In other words Pets Are wonderful I guess And Miss Argentina And Miss Puerto Rico Revealed they secretly got married all right, and an ex-Apple employee stole seventeen million dollars from the company. A former uh, Apple employee has pleaded guilty to defrauding the tech giant of seventeen million. Fascinating. All right, now it is time for the segment, the Mike Matthews New Tunes feud. Let's see. Let's see now. We got a couple songs here. I'm going to have to do this in a strange sort of way. Because I don't have the uh, What do you call it? Open Oh, I don't have this connected Is what I'm trying to say To the the thing that I'm recording the podcast on But I want to try and open This particular sh- Oh You hear it there But That's Toby Lightman so our first guest is Toby Lightman. If you saw, maybe this should be a video podcast instead of just a podcast, an audio podcast. Because I am racing around trying to click things while I am talking simultaneously. This is not easy, everybody. Uh, let's see. Okay. Toby Lightman, after all. Let's see if I can open this up on the YouTube and play it for you. That'll work, won't it? So which one do you like better? And if you are a musician or know a a musician that would like me to play a song, please uh, give them my email, mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. Okay, this is a song called After All. I think this will When the stakes are high. Oh, rats. First, we have to watch this wonderful Grammarly commercial. Here we go. Toby Lightman. She's got blonde hair. Who gave up your side and opened up wide? Put down your sword. I'll do the same cause we both can't afford to go through life board. Banging on. Alright, that's Toby Lightman. Wow, it's very mellow. Or do you like this SoCal band called Windows Gold? They have a song called Holy Rollers. Let's see if I can call this up on YouTube as well. Holy Rollers. 
Ah, here it is. This is Windows Gold. Holy Rollers from their album. <laughs> It says the female oriented quartet called Holy Rollers was formed in Costa Mesa, California by husband wife duo Ben Sauer on guitar and Madeline Starr on vocals, later joined by Ian Zamora on bass and Carson Ford on drums. The riveting rock outfit made an auspicious entrance into the scene in May 2021 with their first single, Pretend. And that got a lot of airplay, I guess, on Sirius XM. Their debut album, Love Drops, will come out next year in January. And we just heard a little bit of that. Okay, which one would you like better? Toby Lightman or Holy Rollers? Call me at 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is a Mike Matthews daily as and what this podcast tries to be or try will try to be yet again. Hopefully, the drama has ended for a while. By the way, I... I'm going to be producing a podcast for another podcaster, a radio host who is very skilled in the world of finances. He eats, breathes, chews, uh, uh, ingests, uh, absorbs all the financial news that is out there, financial theories, trends, you name it. And he does a podcast. I'm going to be taking it over, producing it for him in about a week. But he said something very interesting. His name's Rob Black. And he said that drama always seems to involve a third party. Man and a woman, no drama. But you add the third thing, like money or sex or children or usually money. Or something else. That's what creates the drama. King Kong. Was it Fay Ray? That, 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 there was no drama. But you add airplanes. <laughs> drama. Love. You add that third thing. Love. Drama. Now we've got drama. So I found that fascinating. Okay. Let me know what you think. 336MM Daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is the Mike Matthews Daily. As in what this podcast has in its title. And with more ways to reach me, it is a fun. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. And that was FF episode 2517, 2517. Yeah, if you want to see the latest podcast picture... And the one that was from the last podcast, 2516, that was me driving with a skeleton. Go to my website, mikesdailypodcast.com.